Well, hello guys, and welcome here again to a new video. And today we're basically going to talk about how to find new yield farms and also new pre-sale that will happen on the Binance blockchain for today. And if that sounds interesting, well, I suggest you should subscribe, leave a like and comment down below because that helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to basically just get told when projects like these come out, make sure to follow the Patreon because there you will get notifications cost $10 a month and yeah you will have access to all the new farms and all the new deflationary token in the discord you know and now let's actually get started so we are here over at B farm why do we choose B farm over some other farms well the first thing that you need to know how to find farms is you go over onto Wokdok and Wokdok basically is a website that provides a service to basically look at the contract, see if there's an issue, and once there has no issue been found or whatever, you basically can trust them a bit. You know, like what say trust them a bit. You basically are able to tell that they will not do a work point. And as you can see right here, they have been listed for low risk. And that's already a good sign. And here you also can read the updates. Update Master Chef and token contracts have been updated and all previous issues have been addressed. And the way can no longer take tokens. It has a minimum check on it. Token router cannot be changed to halt sales. The pauses are capped at, at 10%. Start block can be changed correctly if needed. So you don't have anything in here which is a bit fishy. After that, you go over onto the website and you have a look. How does the website look right now? Well, this one looks fairly good. It isn't something very flashy. It isn't something really boring. It is something that actually attracts people. And what I mean by that, I looked at this website and I was already, hmm, this looks very interesting. And right now, what this has been doing, it is basically in the preset and it sold out within six minutes. And that's already a sign which tells me once the farming will start, we are going to see a lot of people join this one because the interest was there. And that's what I mean. You don't need to look always at the token itself, at the tokenomics. Of course, that's fairly important and we will get into that one as well. But looking at the interest and also the partnerships is way more important. And if you know Drip Network, this is basically also like a smart contract basically that releases 1% a day on their network and this will be partnering up with B-Farm which already gives them a lot of new users to join. You know, this farm will be coming out and they already have big audience of other people from another farm. Like, not another farm, but you know what I mean. The drip network. And they will be joining and they will be partaking in the farm. And of course, that means there's already more demand. And yeah, as you can see the pre-sale right there, it was 5,000 total beast that got sold, zeros have been left, the pre price was 20 BUSD and the pancake swap price will be 20 USD as well. So this was basically a fair launch. You will not get punished if you didn't join the pre-sale, but you will be punished if you are late to the pancake swap listing. And I don't know yet when this will start because I need to do a lot of stuff right now to pre-record my videos. But yeah, that's already one thing that you can look out for. The next thing is the TVR. Of course, when a farm not yet has started, it's hard to say, but the TVR always should be about 5 to 10% of the whole farm. And if we go over here for Spectrum, as an example, we see the TVR currently is 13 million and we have 1.8 million in the Spectrum UST pool, which means the price cannot really dump that much because most of the liquidity is their own native token, which is a good identification. And the same you need to look out for on B farm, as an example, or all the other farms that you join, that the TVL is approximately 5 to 10 percent of the whole liquidity. And because if that's not going to happen, you're gonna see some dumps, of course. And that doesn't mean it will happen immediately that dumps occur. It could be a bit later, but most of the times that's how I see projects fail. Another thing you need to look out for is the harvest stock up to be inside of the farm when it starts and that you are already able to unlock your rewards at the first second of the farm. So the best thing to do is always look at the rewards when it will start. So here you can see at the 13th at 6 p.m. UTC. So you can know, okay, I have still four days left to basically deposit my tokens and get them ready. 
And after that, basically, you are too late. If you didn't join already back then, you are too late because then you have eight hours uh, waiting time. And after those eight hour waiting times, the token might have been dumped or whatever has happened. And you are really sad because you couldn't sell. And that's the thing where well, always sell, you need to be on top of the game. And that's why I'm doing the Patreon, by the way, because people don't have that much time all day to look at farms. And yeah, that's basically how you find your yield farms. Of course, there's a few more things you need to look out for, like the Telegram group, the page itself, the GitHub, who's involved in it, their Twitter page, do they have bots, is this organic growth, whatever happened, who are the people that are joining, you know. You need to look a lot of things before you decide on aping into a new farm, because if you ape into a new farm, it's always risky, you know. Because the thing is, the farm can simply dump out of nowhere. And then you are there with a bag of tokens that you don't even want to hold, you know. And that's basically how you prevent it. You need to be careful when you join new farms. Because new farm, like, we are over here and take a look at few farms that will be coming out today. And we have here White Teeth Swap. Let's see. Let's see. The name already throws me off the curve a bit. Uh, so yeah, this will be actually going live in seven minutes. So yeah, there you can see we are a bit early. The token price is at one dollar. And if I would pause the video and we will come back, we maybe would see that the token would dump a lot because look at this right now. How much liquidity? Of course, oh, there's some liquidity in this one. Actually, might be interesting. But then you have. Yeah, it's six hundred dollar worth of yeah, six hundred dollar worth of okay, never mind. My bad. I thought this was six hundred thousand for one second and two hundred thousand, but no. So yeah, you can see that TVL is eleven thousand, sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand right now. So yeah, I don't know if I would be joining it. There's twenty dollar worth of LP at the new block, um, yeah, which would tank the prices a lot, in my opinion. That's like how I look already at the farm. And see that I would not join, you know. I would not join. They have pools, they have a lottery, you have a deposit fee. Of course, the deposit fee is 4%, but would you risk those 4% to get nothing back, you know? Now price is pushing, of course. Well, will this keep up? I don't think so. Maybe a few cents, so you are able to get some money. But... In the long term, this project, I think, will fail because the website also throws me off. If you want, we can actually pause the video, go to the toilet, I come back. We start to farm a bit and I sh show you my experience when you join a random yield farm on Wackdog. Because that's actually a good idea, I think, that we can do. So we will see us when the farming has started and once I'm back from the toilet. So yeah, the farm is about to start and we basically got ourselves now our LP token ready in our wallet and we are going to participate in the BNP BTCP pool. And once token are staked, we are basically throwing them in into this one. I don't know why do I need to put the liquidity on their own farm or what is it? Yes, I actually do need to do that. Well, we made a big oopsie. We need to remove and do that fast because otherwise we are not able to get rewards, you know, at the very first second. And that's what I didn't want to do. But yeah, we need to be here on. I don't know why I cannot. And now I can approve this and remove this. Maybe we are a bit too late already. And we will not join. But let's actually do this. BTC and BNB. Connect our wallet. And we hopefully are able to provide it now. Mm, once the wallet is loading. Yeah, there we go. We confirm the supply. We are basically doing this with $100 worth of tokens. And... One minute to go, we are good in time. There we go, 0 0.05. And now let's see how much we will be making. I will pause again and we'll see us once the results. Like we are now a few minutes in already into farming and you can see the APR drop already. And we got 2.934 in rewards, which is of course the price drop of the token. Not that much, but still. That's the thing what I said, you can make your money back when you join fairly early. But yeah, 
I'm just going to see what this farm will be paying ourselves out right now. So yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on this one. Hopefully we are able to sell that token fairly fast. I don't know if I already got my token in my wallet, but I should have. But let's actually reload this page once and see if our thief is here. And if not, well, we're simply going to end the video because I don't think that we're going to make anything from this one because the price is tanking already too much. And that's what I said. Don't join if you're not the first one. But yeah, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you now know how to find some yield farms. And then, until tomorrow. Bye-bye.